not of humans, but of the whale. Cetaceans, the whales and dolphins of Earth. They have a perspective no other life is privy to, living in the ocean, yet breathing the air above. They have lungs, not gills. Cetaceans intricately communicate, cooperate, manage lifelong relationships, experience emotions, enjoy sex for pleasure, create stable social communities. They enjoy abstract thought, complex cognitive abilities, make choices, understand environmental structures, multi-level tasks, create solutions, remember the past, and plan their futures. They understand symbolic language and interpret syntax word order. Aloha mate, cetacea, an alien or original species. Are there land-loving creatures that must enter the ocean to breathe undissolved oxygen? I doubt it. The dolphin's brain is the most powerful and complex brain, second to the human, according to humans. How exactly do you reason that? The cetacea have a more folded cerebral cortex, larger brain surfaces than humans. The more folded or wrinkled a brain indicates intelligence. Albert Einstein's cerebral cortex was one of the most wrinkled or folded cortex among humans. I'm guessing mine is severely twisted, tweaked, layered. If I could just find it, it's somewhere. Intelligence is defined as a brain's ability to process information, solve problems, and enhance survival. However, an IQ test to measure cetacea intelligence does not exist. Is it impossible for the alien, I mean human brain, to wrap around the real intelligence of cetacea? Humans have yet to figure that out. The scope, size, and life of the ocean has been beyond the human mind. The ocean from space is by far the most dominant feature. It is less known, less explored than the moon and Mars. Humans have better maps of celestial objects than the ocean floor. The ocean is gigantic, housing 99% of the Earth's biosphere. That's all the spaces and places that life exists, whereas all the continents or land of the planet houses a mere 1%, including humans. Rainforests breathe out up to 20% of the Earth's oxygen. The ocean's marine life jungle breathes out 75%. The Earth oceans are commonly known as five separate oceans and seven seas. There really is just one ocean, this Earth ocean. side, dolphins use a signature whistle announcing their unique name. They will pet, tap, nibble one they are attracted to, rub bodies and snouts, then offer up a song and dance and get it on. 
They're altruistic, often staying with and helping injured creatures to their own demise. Woo! They recognize the difference between human children and adults, being more gentle and patient with kids. Dolphins use sponges long before humans. Pups are given sponges by their moms. Is sonar the most advanced technology, yet the most ancient? Scientists study cetaceans to enhance and improve sonar technology, a highly advanced form of radar. Use of radar became the turning point in World War II. Sonar became the Cold War's determining technology of victory. Cetacea use nasal passages producing clicks, whistles, and noises directed through their forehead focused into a beam of sound. In hitting an object, it returns as an echo absorbed through an inner ear where nerve impulses go into the mind. Like sighted dolphins. Acoustical holographic images form within. They literally see inside the bodies of any creature in the ocean and read their feelings. Eerie, huh, mate? Cetacean's ability to remain focused, identifying critical living sonar images and sounds with rapid discriminations between critical and non-critical images is right at 100% accuracy. No computer on the planet can replicate this. So, who is really more human or alien? Humans have yet to figure that out. Cetacea, an alien or original species? From space, the planet is... Yoo-hoo!